You're watching TV9 News. This island, that's that's Alaska, right? Well, this this is a map of Europe. Yeah, but that's Mr. Alaska. Maybe. Here's the assignment from last week. I'm sorry that it's late. This has nothing on it. Max, can can you please can you go please sit back in your seat? Not you. Get over here. I'm sick and tired of you always turning in late assignments! Next time, do a better job. This is an F. And, and you're not you're not getting it. No review. No review for the test. Sit down. Alaska, right? That's <laughs> Alaska. Sit down. Mr. Marone, yes. is it okay to have phones on a test? No. That's what I thought. So why did you decide in the middle of a test to take a phone out? What part of your peanut-sized brain thinks it's okay to have a phone on a test? Uh, I just need to Gosh dang, now you're no excuses! F! F! F your college down the drain! Miss Obershaw, Miss Shackelford, what are you reading there? A map. A map? A map? While I'm trying to look at my Facebook? Absolutely not. Just not having it right now! Give me this book. You aren't reading it. Give me this. Give me this. My only rules is to sit there. I don't want to hear you breathe. I don't want to hear you talk. I just want to look at my Facebook. And you are distracting me. Quiet! No talking. I don't want to hear you breathe. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, here are today's announcements from the TV9 studio. Attention all Skill USA members, you will, you will be going to Sunburst Sledding Hill on February 1st from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock p.m. Surrounding Skill USA chapters will also be participating. We hope to see you there. Skill USA regional deadlines are approaching fast, so if you are interested in competing, please sign up ASAP. 
you are able to pick up permission slips from both the sledding event and regional event from Mr. Hammond, feel free to email Emily Laverse or Renee Roman with any questions. Preseason training for girls interested in joining the track team will begin on Tuesday, January 28th at 4 p.m. Oh. In the field house, see Coach Carbonet at room 221 if you have not signed up yet. Winter Formal is January 25th, and the theme this year is Biffity Boppity Disney. Tickets are for sale Tuesday through Friday the week before the dance. And if you purchase your tickets on Tuesday, the cost will only be $10. The rest of the week, the cost of the tickets are $15. Tickets will be sold before school and during both lunches. Please remember that you must be in good standing to attend. If you need a dress, the dress closet will be open by an appointment. Please contact Ms. Bougie, Haley Edwards, or Mia Lauper. Hey, 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 welcome back to staff and school's uh, second trimester. So in this bowl, there are 50 students and only 20 of them are being picked for a gift certificate giveaway. The first group of 10 are receiving $5 gift certificates. The second group of 10 will receive a $2 gift certificate. Oshkosh Recreation Department is in immediate need of lifeguards and swim lesson instructors. Applicants must have a current certification. Hours vary but are mostly weekday evenings and Saturday mornings for various time periods. The rate of pay is $10.50 per hour. For more information, please contact Veronica Robinson, Program Supervisor at veronica.robinson at oshkosh.k12.wi.us. Thank you. On page one of the course guide, graduation requirements are reviewed. It is important that students understand graduation requirements for their graduating class. To graduate from Oshkosh North High School, students need to complete the following requirements. Four credits of English, three credits of math, three credits of science, three credits of social studies, one and a half credits of physical education, half credit of health, half credit of financial literacy, and seven and a half credits of electives. Students must earn a total of 23 credits to graduate. For specifics on required courses in each area, please see page one of your course guide. Finally, in addition to fulfilling graduation credit requirements, students must also complete the Wisconsin Civics Graduation Exam and have a minimum cumulative GPA of 1.67. Starting on page two of the course guide and running through page seven, you will see all of the courses at a glance. These pages list any available courses at Oshkosh North that you may select when registering. If you would like to read a short description about the course, please refer to pages 28 to 84 in the course guide for more information. When selecting cor courses to register, please be mindful of the two columns entitled semester or year long and grade. The semester or year long column indicates whether or not the course runs for a full year or for only a semester. When registering for a year long course, please be sure to include both of the course numbers, one for first semester and one for second semester on your request worksheet. The grade column indicates what grade levels are eligible to request the course into their schedule. 
For example, if a course has only 11 and 12, only juniors and seniors will be allowed to register. This section describes the steps and guidelines that students would need to take to repeat, add, or drop a course. Failing a required course for graduation will require the student to repeat that particular semester of that failed course. Those students who are thinking about repeating a course should speak with their counselor before reprogramming occurs. Adding a course is allowed within the first five days of the semester if there is room in that course. Dropping a course is allowed within the first five days of the semester if there is an error or an extenuating circumstances. Additionally, dropping a course within the first 30 days of the semester will require filling out a gold dropped form with parent and teacher signature. If a student is dropping a course after the first 30 days of the semester, they will also receive an F on their transcript for that course. Please remember that 9th, 10th, and 11th graders are required to have six courses in their schedule, and 12th graders are required to have at least five courses in their schedule. Pages 28 to 84 of the course guide are descriptions of all of the courses offered at Oshkosh North High School. The courses are alphabetized by department. Each description includes the content covered in that course, grades of students eligible for that course, prerequisites, and credits earned by passing that course. If your prerequisite is listed, this means that there are additional requirements or courses that need to be fulfilled before a student will be allowed to take that class. On pages 12 and 13 of the course guide, you will find information on dual credit opportunities where students can earn both high school and college credit at the same time. The first way a student can earn dual credits is through transcripted courses with Fox Valley Technical College. You will see all of the transcripted courses that we offer through Fox Valley Tech listed in the course guide. Please note you may take and enroll in any of these courses with no additional cost. The second way for a student to earn dual credit is through CAP or Cooperative Academic Partnership Program courses. You will notice there are eligibility requirements. Please refer to the course guide for the requirements prior to registering for a class. Finally, you will see additional CAP details. For example, only juniors and seniors are eligible to enroll in CAP courses. There is a registration process after you request a CAP course into your schedule. There is a $100 per college credit fee for each CAP course. Please note that students may also take CAP courses for high school credit. The last way for a student to earn dual credit is through AP or Advanced Placement courses. Please review the available AP courses in the course guide. Additionally, in order to earn college credit from an AP course, you must register for and take the standardized college board exam in the spring and receive a passing score. On page 14 of the course guide, you will find information on off-site opportunities for students to earn both high school and college credit. Early College Credit and Start College Now are programs that permit eligible juniors and seniors to attend either UW Oshkosh or UW Fox Valley Tech for the purpose of taking one or more courses during or after school hours. Students may only enroll in these courses if they have exhausted all courses in any one area of study offered through the district. Please note that there are specific eligibility requirements to enroll in UW Oshkosh and Fox Valley Technical College courses. Each of these requirements are listed in the course guide. If you are interested in taking an early college credit or Start College Now course, please refer to the back of your scheduling sheet for instructions on how to request this course. Finally, if you have any questions or would like more information, please schedule an appointment with Ms. Erickson in counseling. eAcademy is an online program that provides quality digital instruction and personalized learning. eAcademy collaborates with Wisconsin eSchool Network to provide a large variety of classes to OASD students. eAcademy allows students to have a blended schedule. Students may enroll in face-to-face -face instruction at their home school and online instruction. All building attendance policies apply for part-time students. Part-time status is recommended for the following reasons. A student may request an online course to replace a grade in the same course. The desired course is not available at their site or not available due to a schedule conflict. The course will provide enrichment or career exploration. And the course will allow for an extension of their schedule. Please note students are not encouraged to take online courses as overloads. Students taking 
an eCademy class will be assigned to the learning lab at their home school for one hour of the school day to ensure success and support. It's important that eCademy students realize they are required to log on daily and complete all assignments and classes as directed by the due dates. New students are required to complete an online orientation prior to starting their course. Students may select OASD taught courses in the course guide. Please look for a course labeled with an E when entering this into your schedule. There are hundreds of other course titles available. Please see your counselor if you are interested. All Oshkosh Area School District drop ad policies apply to eAcademy courses. Interested students must be proactive in communicating with teachers and maintain daily attendance online. Any student interested in applying for full-time online enrollment for the 2020-2021 school year is expected to successfully complete a class this spring or summer. Thank you for watching TV9 News. Have a great day.